We'd like to introduce to the stage a man who's been performing stand-up comedy since the age of 16. Uh, he does frequent gigs around Melbourne, but has also performed in New York, London, and at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Mm. You may also recognise him from TV appearances on Rove, The Project, The Circle, and The Footy Show, or from a brief appearance in Steven Spielberg's The Pacific and the Nick Cage film Knowing. He is comedian Danny McGinley. Please welcome him to the show. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. On the show, hey, hey, God damn it! Get one there. Oh. Our set designers are going to have a fit at us now. Oh, really? Have she I said, don't move the balloons. Have I ruined the, the feng shui? Really? really? Yes. That was the one proviso. Don't oh, move the balloons. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to throw out cupcakes oh, no. to the audience. Oh, I've ruined everything. You oh, did this. You spoke oh, to his management. <laughs> look, look. There's nothing in the mugs. <laughs> oh. uh, thank you. And we've got two guest mugs. I don't know why, <laughs> but let's get rid of that. Let's put that down there. Anyway, Danny, uh, you've been performing stand-up comedy since the age of 16. 16 years old, which is actually, that's, that's kind of uh, quite common now. But back uh, in the 90s when I started, yeah, I had a really good system with my father is I was on my, my L plates. And uh, so I would drive us to the pubs, which would have the comedy places like the Star and Garda, the Armadale. A lot of them closed down now. Uh, and Dad would go and drink in the front bar, and I would do the gig in the, where the comedy was, and then come out and I'd drive him home. <laughs> it was perfect. Well, it's perfect. Yeah. How, do, how does the uh, jokes you were telling back then stack up to what you're doing now? Oh, they're exactly the same. Exactly. I haven't changed <laughs> any material. It's still just gags about uh, John Howard as prime minister. What's the deal with when you hire a video from the video shop and it's not rewound <laughs> and uh, oh, what's the deal with this gas crisis? Jeez, so there's no hope for us getting any no, funnier. No. <laughs> uh, look, uh, the next question was... Uh, <laughs> we, rely, we rely heavily on auto cue on yeah, this. Yeah, that's alright. No, I've seen I've seen Parkinson just do the exact same thing. Uh, <laughs> you, you really are such a fascinating entertainer. And, uh, what the bloody hell am I asking him? <laughs> Who is this man? Who, what, is, what is your name? What is it? What, your name? Sinatra? Sinatra? S Frank Sinatra? Okay, all right. Well, tell us about your new movie. Well, we've had Parkinson on the show too. We can add that to the list. Uh, the question is. Uh, we know that you you do do a little bit of uh, television. You do a bit of crowd warm, warm up, up at TV, TV show taping. taping. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a pretty decent audience here today. Well, I'm we glad quite you asked that. <laughs> quite presumptuous there, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they, they're a great crowd, actually. They're a lot of fun. They, they are the, the secret to... I, I do audience warm-up for The Circle. Uh, I used to do it for the Adam Hills in Gordon Street show. I do it for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire every now and then. And The Project. And uh, the, the secret is just give them lollies. Get them hyped up. These guys, <laughs> uh, they haven't had anything yet, but they are all... Uh, during the ad break, they're all going, when's the cupcakes coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty there. tempting there. But it's really weird. You get at, the, at most places, you get like fan towels and minties and stuff like that. But at, when I was at the ABC, they were what could best be described as government lollies. <laughs> <laughs> Nondescript, you know, yellow flavour. <laughs> Sucking candies. Yeah. <laughs> well, on our budget, that's probably all we can get too. Yeah, well, <laughs> now, uh, Danny, you're performing at the up-and-coming comedy festival yes. uh, in April. Your show, uh, Danny McGinley Learns Ukrainian. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Now, it was based on you learning Ukrainian I, to, I to woo yes. your... Your fiance. So I should let you ask, <laughs> let you ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> you read and you ask. Yeah, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I learnt a bit of Ukrainian to. I, I am getting married to a, to a Ukrainian girl, and uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As soon as I finish filling out that website, she's going to arrive, and, <laughs> and yeah, she's she's a, she's a great girl. But yeah, I thought I wanted to make a speech at the wedding in her native tongue, and it's not fun. It's, <laughs> it's a horrible language. Do you guys speak any other languages no, at all? No. No, I, I did Indonesian at high school. Oh, I'd the, say only thing, the only thing I remember is es cream means ice cream. Yeah, hey, that's good. Yeah. All I, I went to Indonesia and all you need to know is tidak, 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 <laughs> which just means no. But just, everyone goes, you buy this, you buy this. No, no, no. <laughs> So uh, do you know, I did Italian as well in yeah. uh, in school, and uh, I, Italian's got me in trouble, I reckon, because uh, recently I did an audition for uh, uh, we didn't know what it was for, so I, it was just but it was a big acting thing, and uh, I had to play a like a BBC news reporter, uh, so I put on that you know that BBC voice. Charlie yeah. Pickering does it brilliantly, but I was pretty much channeling Charlie's old stand-up routine about just going Bo border skirmish after border skirmish shows the treaties aren't working. <laughs> Charlie does it brilliantly. I've ripped off his material there. Sorry. 
Uh, but and so I've just done that, and they go, "Oh, so you can do some accents, and you can you, can you can you speak any other languages?" I go, oh, "I can speak a few. Can you speak Arabic?" And when you, when you're in an audition, you'd have to say yes to everything. And so I go, yeah, of course I can speak Arabic. <laughs> they go, all right, can you improvise some lines in Arabic? And, and my, my, I thought, I know, I'll speak Italian. <laughs> oh, no. And add a few. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're coughing up phlegm. So, yeah. it was, so they go, just improvise a dialogue. So I've said the only thing I remember from learning primary school Italian. And I've gone, <laughs> Which means here is a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's red, yellow, blue, and green. And they go, oh, okay, that's great. We're just going to send that off to SBS. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's going to be some actual Middle Eastern Arabic speaker there going, this right. racist <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you mentioned that you do a lot of crowd warming um, I do. at yeah. the circle. Now, the host, Yumi, mm. Dave's got a bit of a thing for Yumi. Um, You're not alone there, my friend. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> Your fiance's going to watch this. Come on, man. Oh, she knows all about she it. Don't worry. It. It's, <laughs> it's all right, it's um, right. Based on your last um, uh, comedy sketch, mm -hmm. what can Dave do to woo her? Should he learn Japanese? Oh, hey. <laughs> I, don't to know, I think that it? means yes. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know much Japanese. Uh, yeah, give it a go. I'd say Yumi uh, said she she won't date any more rock stars because she yeah. used to work Channel V and she yeah. knows that a lot of them can yeah. be uh, you know troublesome. Uh, I'd, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she's single. Uh, I would say the best thing you can do for Yumi is probably. Uh, watch the circle and and buy an Ab Circle Pro, yep. uh, an Abra, yeah. uh, some some nude by nature makeup, yep. and that'll so just right. impress her, you know. Really? Just ha and then like if she comes around your house, just show her everything you've bought oh, from okay. the Circle Marketplace. <laughs> Putty in your hands. There we uh, go. Thank you for the tips. I'll well, keep that in mind. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I was about to say Lizzie still say? will be alive. Yes, so <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we do have to let you go now That's because right. we're on such a tight schedule today. Um, what camera am I looking at here? This one over here, I think. Um, we have to power. We have to power on through. Um, so again, you can catch Danny at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. For information, visit our Facebook page. Thanks for coming to the show. It's been fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, audience. All right. Uh, now it's time. <laughs> it's time to go straight into the second half of our challenge series. If you missed it before, Josh is currently on four points, and it's now my turn to take to the streets in order to obtain the crown of Slut Bet Champion. And yes, this idiot did buy a crown, and uh, I need to get at least five points to win. So can you throw away to the package? Absolutely. Challenge part two. Back to Dave and Josh on the couch. Danny to leave stage during challenge. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>